Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania just arrived at NATO with Trump and silenced world leaders with what she did. All eyes have been on Melania Trump now more than ever since her bold message on her jacket let the mainstream media outlets know exactly how she feels about them. Her attire has always been under fire from leftists who love to attack her for any ridiculous reason. That reached a pinnacle of attack when she fought back her detractors with a perfectly played, no infamous, message on her jacket that said, I really don't care to do you? She let everyone who hates her know exactly how she feels, that she doesn't care what they think of her and she's tired of their fake news. Having found her voice and showing she's not afraid to use it in the right time, her poise and confidence she regularly exudes soared to new heights among her admirers. Now she's debuting herself on the world stage at NATO for the second time. She stunned NATO wives on Wednesday with having come right off an international flight and headed straight into a gathering with the spouses, looking fresh and flawless and not remotely jet-lagged like most travelers would after flying that far to a different part of the world. Just 24 hours after impressing NATO spouses with her impeccable appearance, she silenced world leaders alongside President Trump with what she did today upon greeting them. Mainstream media and the left have been watching Melania closer than ever, waiting for her to slip up and make an error they can exploit. Since she's first lady of exceptional class, they will never get that opportunity in her action or words, so they focus on her clothing to slander her personally. The white dress she looked flawless in today to greet everyone at NATO is no exception. According to the Daily Caller, Melania Trump dazzled in a white floral dress with sheer panels Wednesday when she and President Donald Trump arrived at a NATO welcome ceremony in Brussels, Belgium. The first lady looked gorgeous in a sleeveless, T-length Ellie Saab cocktail dress made of sheer tulle that went down to her knees, per the White House pool report. Melania completed the jaw-dropping look with loose hair and nude-colored high heels. She and Trump greeted other world leaders and their spouses ahead of a dinner at the Park of the Sink at Nair. Earlier in the day, Flotus joined other NATO leaders' spouses at the Queen Elizabeth Music Chapel in Waterloo for a concert followed by a fashion show. The event was part of a separate agenda as President Trump and other leaders met for the first day of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO, summit. As the President and First Lady tour of the UK, Melania's fashion choices have been watched closely to see if there are more hidden messages in what she wears. There's nothing but elegance and beauty that can be said about her appearance today, but leave it to liberals to conjure one up. It's only a matter of time before they take issue with the fact that her dress is sheer and somehow inappropriate, despite not showing skin and being completely modest. If it's not that, then they'll accuse her of attempting to upstage other world leaders' wives. There's no end to what they are capable of coming up with. Such as, calling her designer Christian Louboutin heels trash flair, as Vanity Fair claimed in a hit piece on her appearance as she traveled to Europe. Really, the shoe designer is her favorite and practically the only brand she wears, plus she was paying homage to Louboutin as she headed to Europe, with heels that had the logo on them since the designer is based in Paris. The First Lady is smarter than to give in to her haters' games. Instead, she beats them at it by always carrying herself with perfection and grace under fire, looking stunning everywhere she goes. Melania continues to outclass them at every turn and represents America exceptionally well on the world stage. Perhaps the real problem other people have with her appearance is that they touted Michelle Obama as one of the best-dressed First Ladies but, but it's evidently clear that Melania has her beat by a mile, and doesn't require a staff of more than 20 people to accomplish it. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.